Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode. We are go jumping in again for another part of the streak. Jumping in, of course, as Eden to see what the game throws at us this time around. And already, not too bad. We got ourselves some toothpaste. Um, possible. Okay, it literally just spawns four to six random hearts and that's it. So we basically just got an extra heart here. But we also got the spirit orb here as well, which is a pretty interesting item. We can throw this at enemies to generate different types of orbs. And said orbs can be pretty darn good. Uh, so if we, for example, get this guy here and throw that at him, we get ourselves a vine leaf one, which will turn enemies into uh, little fruits that we can pick up for soul hearts. So that's pretty good already. And that's a four room charge. We can get all the different varieties of spirit orbs here. So we're not always going to get as lucky as this one. I mean, this one is particularly good. I'm going to save it for this big room over here, I think. We've not started with the best stats in the world here, but honestly, starting with the extra hearts, we've got four red hearts. Pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Um, as for the question of the day today, um, it's kind of hard to say, to be honest. Oh, wait. I didn't think about the fact that I have to kill them for it to drop the fruits. I'm stupid. I don't know how long it holds them for. I don't know if it's forever. It, okay, I was going to say, it might not be forever. Didn't know I had to kill them. I thought it killed them for me. My bad. Um... <laughs> Oops, it does kind of kill them for you, but just not all the way. Um, as for the question of the day today, what's your favorite consumable in Isaac? Your favorite, like, pickup? And it could be a modded one as well. Virgo, pretty good. All pills are positive ones, is a particularly good effect from this. Uh, but also, the chance for invincibility can be very, very nice. A bit of Virgo invincibility to help us out. I don't mind it on a good old blood bank. It goes a long way. I'm just going to try and kill this guy first, to be honest. There you go. These guys are going to be a little annoying, but... Oh, I was going to say they're not likely to hit me because they fire randomly, but he fired randomly directly in my direction. <laughs> not what I was expecting. Not what I was expecting at all, but there you go. Don't know what that card is, so we're going to leave it. And hello to you. What do we get here? He uses a random spirit orb effect. Ooh, I've not seen one of them before. I guess I'll use this in the boss fight because a lot of them are combat based. Oh my god, I've lost my soul heart already. No. Oh my lord, I'm playing terribly. I mean, these guys are moving at some wild speeds. Uh, let's let's try this in the boss and see what we end up getting here. I'll wait until we've uh, got past this first phase here, because this first phase is a bit annoying. But yeah, 1.8 fire rate is, uh, is really hindering us right now, so I'd say Mr. Dolly or uh, Squeezy would, would be what I'm looking for from the boss here at this time. Oh, dude. How am I meant to dodge you? You move at such weird paces. Ah. My god, they're not dying. Die. Of chaos. Yeah, that was not bad. You got a bit of extra damage off of that. That's unfortunately not really the best of uh, spirit orbs to be using on a boss. But, not terrible. Unfortunately, I think we're going to be here a while. In fact... So much so that I think I'm going to um, throw a bomb in there, because otherwise it's going to be just take forever. Damage up converts two soul hearts and your health bar into empty burn hearts. Unfortunately, we don't have that, so we just get the damage up, which seems pretty good. Um, I'm going to go over to our care room. We have a lot of red hearts lying on the floor, so I think it's worthwhile. Let's go see what the game has in offer for us today. Get two of the same pill here. I don't, forget, don't remember what you do. And we also got a card as well. Come on, pill. Be good. Oh, it's a rules card. You. Feels like I'm walking on sunshine. It's pretty good. Okay, actually, it's not because it doesn't, doesn't let us kill this guy. I kind of thought it did. Chub dislikes smoke. That's like one of the only useful hints you can actually get. Right, let's go back over this way and refill our uh, red hearts. I th I'm pretty sure I know where Secret Room is here, but we don't have a bomb yet, so we'll see if we get one from this room. Unfortunately not. Okay. Not the best floor ever, but coming out of this feeling pretty confident about the next floor, I mean, we have all positive pills now, so pills are a must-take. I've just got to remember. Unfortunately, it's kind of hard to remember when you have the all positive pills effect. Um, if you've not got PhD, I feel like. Right, we'll go regular path. I might do a beast run here, maybe. We'll see how we feel by the time we get around to that. Not entirely sure if I want to do that yet. Uh, now, we do have um, no soul heart protection at the minute. We're l very, very likely to lose our... Um... Yeah, unfortunately, 
we're very, very likely to lose it in this room. Uh, but I've actually made a pretty decent play here, surprisingly. I thought backing myself into that corner would be terrible, but somehow it really worked out. Ooh, tractor beam. Very, very nice. I like a tractor beam. Big tier up, which we really, really needed, so very happy to see it. Another spirit of chaos. There you go. Oh, dude, and a sigil of Baphomet. This is pretty nice. We've got a library here. Um... I guess I'll just take this one and pop it. Destroy that real quick. Yeah, not not the best for us. I might actually, I might hold on to it for, for the rest of this floor and see if I can get another charge on it. I know that I'm likely to lose these burn hearts at some point because I don't have any red hearts to fill them with, but the chance is there. It's remote, but it's there. Sigil of Baphomet should help out a little bit at least. I do like Sigil of Aphomet quite a lot. Probably one of, if not the best trinket in the game defensively. Okay, I'm going to try and... Ah, it didn't really work out the way I was hoping it would. Definitely what you're meant to do in this room. But couldn't quite make it work. Ah, oh, really? Couldn't quite get that one either. Oh, dude, why are you bouncing all over the place so goddamn much? Just die, my boy, die. Cool. Red Heart, please. Mm. Very, very good trinket as well, but as I just mentioned, we have a much, much, much better one, so. Try to use Sigil to get in enemies' faces if we can. Yeah, both gonna go for those peeps. I'm just gonna let you guys tie yourself out and fly on away. Goodbye, little fellas. Goodbye. Probably shouldn't have destroyed that. Take out the big boys first. Hey, easy. Not too bad. It looks like we are going to get at least another broken heart. Uh, broken heart. You know what I meant. Burn heart here. Just depends whether we're going to lose the other one. Right. At this point, we're definitely not going to get another charge. So I'm going to go back and get our spirit orb uh, generator. Because I think that is a really, really damn good active. Um, some of the spirit orbs are insanely powerful. Um... The, the electric one that we got uh, at the beginning, you can use that on, I think, beggars and machines, or maybe it's just machines, to get them to pay out with a bunch of stuff. It's really, really nice, actually. You can get some really good stuff out of them. Uh, so I'm hoping I get a few more of those and can utilize them in the right scenarios. But I'm also liking the chaos ones that we're finding as well. The randomness is uh, a bit cheeky. Obviously, it leaves us not really knowing what's going to happen, but most of them are good within combat rooms, and there's one of our burn hearts filled. Beautiful. Ah, oh, this is kind of an annoying room here. I really want to get rid of the spiders before anything else. Because as you can see, they're kind of moving everything else around. But they're not really positioning themselves in a way that makes it easy to uh, to kill them. Oh, dude. Spiders. Get out from the middle. Vigil of Baphomet kind of saved me there. Ah, oh, these spiders are so annoying. Luckily, we do have a lot of range going on right now, so we're relatively safe from these guys. Spirit Orb is ready once again. I don't think the actual enemy matters all that much. Ooh, I will do this, though. Could you not fall directly on top of the enemy, please? There you go. I managed to get a half soul heart and filled our burn heart of that, which I think is... Pretty good going, to be honest. It's already providing us so much benefit this early on. So it's clearly going to carry us for that throughout this run. But as I said, this is the streak, so we are looking to keep our wins a-flowing. Um, secret room... Likely to be here. I've only got one bomb, it's a bit of a gamble, but... Yeah. Unfortunately, not something we can take advantage of unless we manage to get the, um, the electric orb, as I was mentioning earlier. In which case, we will actually have an opportunity to um, to take advantage of that. We're going to get one more orb before the end of this floor. Although, actually, no one knocks. We won't have an enemy to throw it at, so... 
it won't really work out for us. We'll get a charge, but we won't have an enemy to throw the thing at to get an orb. Unfortunate. Unless we somehow get an enemy... Uh, oh, hello. I haven't fought you in a very long time. We do have a half soul heart to protect us here, so we're not super likely to lose our devil deal, but these bosses are ones that I'm still not super familiar with, so forgive me if I do take some bad damage. I kind of half remember how they work. That speedy bit there is the, the, the main bit that, that tends to throw me for a loop. And they do it quite a lot. Ah, oh, Citizen of Baphomet actually saved me from getting hit there. The ruler is fantastic for us right now. Um, ooh, baby. I think I'm just going to take Star of the Bottomless Pit here. Gimpy, you're pretty good, but I'm going to leave you. Um, and I think we're just going to carry on down this regular path. Right now, I'm, I'm pretty confident for a beast run. I haven't done one in some time. I'm feeling like it's uh, it's coming together. Oh, hello. Uh, I don't have the bombs for you as of right now, but I will get them. Why did I do that? I threw that and immediately realized it's going to spawn it somewhere where I can't get it. And of course, we gave us the electricity one. I might be able to grab that, but I don't think I can. Nah, that was really dumb of me. I didn't think about the fact that I wasn't going to be able to actually grab that in time. Our fire rate is, uh, is looking very, very nice now. It was obviously very rough to start with because of our Eden start, but looking a much better now. Calm down, you. There's our bomb we're looking for. We could bomb to get the electric thing here, but I think I'd rather bomb on these and uh, be able to get whatever we get from this. Stone chests do have an item pool with the mods that we have as well, so there was always a chance. Unfortunately, it didn't pay out. Ah, he managed to get back in his little cage. Oh, we're all good. We've got plenty of spare red hearts here as well. I don't exactly know what I plan to do with those. Maybe a sack room if we get one, but I think we got one last floor that I didn't utilize, so isn't likely. See, now this is this is probably the worst spirit stone of the lot. Basically, it just spawns a bunch of gravestones that you can use to like help you in combat, but probably the worst one of the lot, I'd say. Because uh, these these burnies don't carry through to the next room. If they carry through to the next room, I'd, I'd I'd put it pretty high on the list, but they don't. So it's kind of a stinker. It's not terrible, but compared to the rest, pretty good. We did indeed get a sack room though, which is interesting. Definitely tempted by it. And we got Balrog's head, which is kind of unfortunate because it's a really really good active item that I can't take advantage of right now. Really, really good, but yeah, not not in the wheelhouse for us here. Don't you dare push that out of the way. Thank goodness. I really thought he was going to actually push that then. Got the haunted chest, which could be beautiful. Fortunately, it wasn't. Another really good trinket. We're getting a lot of good trinkets this run, but sadly, nowhere to uh, take advantage. Same one again here. Oh, it does fill gaps. I didn't know it filled gaps. Now, that changes things slightly. Yet another really, really good active. Um, we can't take here. I'll hold off on taking it for right now. I'm going to go and uh, start playing this out, you know. Start playing the sack room. We got one. We got... Ah, bloody sigil of Baphomet. Oh, no, that was Virgo, wasn't it? We do actually have a lot of uh, invincibility on our side at the moment. Right, we are going to have to do quite a bit of back and forth here to make this work, which is a bit annoying, but it is what it is. Grab that. We're all about min-maxing at the moment, aren't we, sir? Boom, bow. We're here. Three hearts in here. We're going to be one off, I think, the, uh, the final play that we need to do. I think we need to do six for the full full lot, and we're going to get five here. No payouts so far. Yeah, it's a little annoying that it doesn't just take red hearts first. Because if I if I went, I could just sack room again now and then go and pick up another heart. But unfortunately, it'll just break my burn heart. And right now, I'd really, really rather that not be the case. Right, so what place this is this? Four or five? This is five. Okay. So unfortunate on the fifth player there. 
Sixth plate is where it's at, though. Sixth plate is where it's at. Let's hope for the best. Bump out. Yes! There you go. We got little bishop here. Good, good. Ooh. Golden penny here as well. Darn tootin'. Didn't really get what I wanted out of that. Lots of trinkets. If I can come back in here with more keys, I will. So I do actually have one more player to go. I thought it was six players. It's seven. So we do need a red heart. And I'll, p I'll pop that at the end of the floor as well. Lots of eternal hearts to play with here. Little Bishop is good though. Um, if I remember correctly, Little Bishop is blocks uh, projectiles when hit. 20% chance to shield adds at 5 seconds. So we have a lot of shielding on this run. We have Virgo, Sigil of Baphomet, and Little Bishop all giving us shielding. It's kind of crazy to be honest. There's that's, that's, that's a lot going on. Try and get that guy before he scoots along. Try our best not to lose this burn heart if we can. Losing this burn heart would not be very fun. Oh, we got one of the jumpers. Careful. Oh! Oh, thank God Sigil was uh, there to save our ass then. We don't have a key, but we do have a lot of money. <laughs> Probably should have thought about saving our keys before I spent it all. Spent all of them on that eternal chest. Give us a golden key and let us back into the angel room. That's the that's that'd be the true thing that we need here. I don't know how good this is against enemies. Never really tried it. Seems reasonably good. More bombs here. At the minute we're really looking for a key though. These guys can zap us, so be very careful. In fact. Gonna get myself to the other side of the room before I kill them to give myself as much time as possible here. Okay, that didn't really work. Ah! How did I not get hit there? Electric boy, die! Oh my god, why won't this electric fella die? That was a pain. Okay, got a key. Back we go. The shop may hold great treasures for us. Hope it does. Oh, it does indeed. Okay, so... Hmm. I actually think I want both here. Obviously, Greedbutt is the first one that I should take. But honestly, with Virgo, Little Baggy's not a bad idea. So I'm going to see if I can potentially get a hold of that. We will uh, try and destroy some poops and such and see if we can get a bit more money around this floor. Because, yeah, I think Lil Baggy could be decent on this run. Especially if we get the uh, the mask that makes all spirit orbs, um, all, all pills into spirit orb con counterparts. That's a really, really good item, but it doesn't look like we're going to get enough money this floor, unfortunately. I've had people ask before, why don't I just bomb my donation machine? Why don't I have any money in it? I, I used to. But I found it like a real crutch for me that I like overuse it. By the way, this is this is just I have, I've lost a broken heart, a burn heart here. Oh wait, no, I got I got shielded. Greed's butt saved me. I need to really move like right away. Oh dude, Greed's butt. I this is the most defensive run I think I've ever seen. Greed's butt, little bishop, Virgo, and spirit. Um, Sigil of Baphomet is a kind of an insane combo of items. I just have shielding out the wazoo. Good. We do have another spirit orb to utilize here, but I don't exactly know where I'll use that. I don't think it does anything against bosses, sadly. I would like to use a bomb against this guy, but I know I'm going to fucking mess it up and he's going to jump. Oh, no. I managed it. Right, does it work against this? I wonder. It probably doesn't, but I feel like I have to try it. Right, once it lines up for me. I, I, I might wait until there's a second die out and about. Make it a little easier. 
Nah, I completely missed. I wonder if that would have worked anyways. Ooh, my music broke for a second there. Yeah, I have no idea if that would have worked anyways. Right. You are basically dead. Good, good. Hey, Squeezy's very nice here. Now, can I min to the max and try and get ourselves some extra stuff from the shop? Right. First of all, quickly go and check out our shop. We want to pop that in a second as well. Don't forget about that. Right. I've got some potential gambles I can make here. There's no- basically there's no other way that I'm gonna get this in terms of money-wise. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy the red heart, which seems a bit weird. I'm gonna come back over to the sack room and play the sack room a few times. In order to try and get all the money. The... That is not what I was expecting, but I'm very happy for it. Now we've got the troll bombs. we got that. Angel. Okay. Now, I think I, I think I just risk a broken heart here. Okay. Didn't quite get the payout I was hoping for, but that's still pretty good. So we do miss out on Little Baggy, but we got Blood of the Martyr, which I was not expecting. We're gonna get- we got a bunch of soul hearts and we got this as well. So I think overall, pretty good going. Like, that risk was definitely calculated and worthwhile. Cool. Okay. The min-maxing continues, baby. We move down to the next floor. These are the runs that I'm talking about. I think the next thing up is we do need to improve our damage. Obviously, we did just get some damage, so we're in a good spot there, but... If we could improve it even more, that would be ideal. Our fire rate's in a good spot already. We got little minks from somewhere. I think that's from our um, random Lamageddon wisp we got from our uh, heart. Unfortunately, little minks is not an, uh, a familiar that I rate. I find it kind of confusing to use. Okay. We got this again. Do you know what? Just, just... Is that it? Nope, it's not. It's not. It's not it. It's not it. That one's kind of a weird one as well, to be honest. Arcade. Hello, hello. I'm just going to bomb this here because I don't know what that is behind there. Oh, it's a good one. It's the rock that gives us an insane amount of pennies. I like the rock that gives us an insane amount of pennies. No, you blew up my friend. I was going to use him. I was going to use him. I could pay five for a bunch of pills here, I guess. But I'll, I'll check what the shop's got going on first, I think, rather than sinking my money into that before I know what's available. We're still lacking keys at the minute, though, so that's a problem. But you're not the one that does the ground slamming blast. Hoping we could destroy some mushrooms there, but wrong enemy. Very much the wrong enemy. Still no key. God damn it. Dude, stop giving us this one. This one's kind of dull. I don't know. Like, I guess you could get stuff from over gaps with this. Ooh, Bacana. Ah, my God. So many bubbles. Ah, still no key. Damn. Where art thou keys, game? Where art thou keys? I need of them badly. Consumes all cards and drops itself will trigger the effect of all consumed cards if used in a room without any cards. I hold on to that. It's kind of hard to take advantage of, but I'll hold on to it in case I find a, a good time to use it. 
basically we need to have a, like four or five cards, well not four or five, but like two, even just two or three cards in a room at once. We want to store inside this thing and then we'll pop it later on. Dude, it's the same one again. It, is it? It might be because of the. Oh, dude, this smells like trinket. Oh, amazing. Um, it might be because of the floor we're on. Like, because we're on a wet floor, we're getting the water one. Because I think it is enemy dependent. So maybe it's just because I'm hitting a lot of wet based enemies that it's giving us that, which at that point I can't really complain too much about, can I? Um, we'll grab that, why not? It's not a great trinket, but it'll do, it'll do. Right, come on, little key. Show yourself to me. Good, baby. We got ourselves the Spirit of Salvation here, which I will pop in the next available room, most likely. Spirit Boom. It also destroys for a secret room wall for us, and there's a key, baby. I'm gonna take a gamble here and try and buy a key from here. Ah, oh, you bastard. Made me very upset. I mean, that's nice, but you... Overall made me very upset. In a sense, I am sad. Now, question is, do I want to gamble all of these soul hearts away for another sack room player? I think I do. Ah, oh, there's another key, lovely. Hello, good sir. Hold on to that for later. My abyss card isn't really that big of a deal now. I push you away, not you push me. Huzzah. My knockback is greater than thou. Good stuff here. Grab that if you want to do a reroll there. Shade. Clearing a room grants familiar. Ooh, this is the reworked shade. I could go for that. I'm going to play this guy as well. Pill. I'm not going to pop that yet in case it's a full health pill. Oh, we got invincibility. I forgot about that. Hello, Spice. 75% chance to get a buff for the room. 25% chance to get a stacking permanent debuff. Debuff goes away for the room when using the item. It's a three room charge. Interesting, but I think I'm just going to broken heart reroll this. And we get that. Breaks tier cap as well. That was a range. Okay, I think I'm going to go gamble in the sack room again. I'm enjoying the idea of getting more uh, angel items. I think that could work quite nicely for us. Right, let's go and check out our item room. Oh, dude, this keyboard feels so, so nice to use. Speedball, do not mind it. We do not have another syringe right now, so it's not as important. But the speed up is honestly really nice for just navigating back through rooms. I think 1.6 speed is a, is a pretty good amount to have when you're backtracking a lot. Right. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, oh, we got the money. I gambled hard and it didn't pan out. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and grab a few pills. It'll probably break the machine after two or three uses. But I think I'm going to go and buy a few pills with this money. Because I could get some full health pills. I could get some balls of steel. I could get health ups. There's a lot of things I could get that could be quite useful for me here. Vested is not one of them. The end is not one of them. Tears up, there you go. I mean, didn't actually do anything for us there, unfortunately. Strength is whatever. World is good, actually. Maxed credit card, what's that do? Restocks the shop, replaces everything on sale with items, increases the price of everything. Ooh, I will take that. That's interesting. I will take that to the next shop. 
which got access to our cash room as well as our secret room here because of that wild card. So overall, reasonably useful. Extra keys. I actually do need extra keys, so I'll take them. Thank you. Most valuable, but got an extra bomb out of it. Okay. Overall, not too upset with this floor. Spent my time. Took my time, should I say. And it worked out. Yeah, max credit card. I'll, I'll reread the description just to make sure I don't use it wrong before the next shop. Um, I, I think it says it basically restocks everything but at a higher price. So we get to buy everything from the shop and then restock it. Or we get to essentially just get a free reroll of the shop. Fit free. It still makes the items more expensive. But you get me. You know what I'm saying. Okay, so good to know that I can still trigger my greeds but even if I have invincibility. Not ideal. Ooh, that's, that's pretty good for the boss later. We'll save that. Very much looking for a soul heart of some kind right now to keep our Devil Deal Chance alive. We have a lot of shades following us. Like I said, this is the reworked shade. Lard? Do you know what? I've got enough speed. I think that's worthwhile. Plus two hearts goes a long way for us right now. Got enough bombs to get both of these as well. Right. So in here, ooh, very nice. We got that. Let's have a look, see what this does again. Restocks the shop, replace everything on sale with items. Okay. So I think I then grab this. I am going to grab this as well. And then I go with the max credit card. Everything becomes an item. Very nice. Okay. Sackhead, pretty obvious. Very, very good. Um, Flushette's decent. Half heart damage is now taken at three hearts or below. Is pretty good for safety. Um, the destock will simultaneously restock a devil deals and stairway shops. Eight room charge though. And then these two are actives, right? I think we just take both of these then in that case. And considering we've got the uh, the thingy, um, keep us sack, we get money for that. I will, however, come back and buy more, even though they're active items, uh, if I have enough money, because that will play nicely into um, just keep us sack. You can clearly tell that, that that card, the maxed out credit card, is pretty amazing. It's a very, very, very good um, card to find. It's one of the first times I've ever seen it, I think. I don't remember seeing it before, so... Um, not one that's very common, which is a good thing, because it's very strong. I'm bombing these. We need 11 for our next purchase. We're almost at that already, actually. We are only on Necro 1 here. By the way, while we're invincible, so are our Wisps. So, while we've got our bubble of protection. Our wisps cannot die, which is nice to know if we want to do some contact damage. I do have a half soul heart back there that I need to pick up. Don't know where it... There you go. From my little ghosty dying. From my feathered heart. What is that? That's a D2, right? You don't need that. Our shades are doing a decent job as well. The, the little chain of them following us. Don't mind that at all. Chill out, fella. Seems like we're very much on the right way to the boss here. Reed's butt is ready and away sink. So much money, lovely. Right. Ah, this was stupid. I used Spirit of Inferno before the enemies even spawned. I didn't realize what boss we were fighting. Yeah, didn't. Bit of a waste there. Unfortunately, not a great boss for that item in general, really. 
while these guys are spawning in, what we can do is do this and get our shades to run the path of their spawn. Do a bit more damage. E, that's good. And spawns four more wisps, which are all double health. Very good. Right. Now we go back to the shop and buy our items, I think. Still going to stick with this active, though. This active is, uh... It's doing me well. It's tried and true. Oh my lord. What kind of room is this? Right. Quickly, just back out of this room a second. I think I am going to take this trinket, so I'm going to leave that there. Try and pick up everything else. Good stuff, right? Yeah, I'll grab that. Um, do you know what? Yeah, I'll use this. Nothing much in there, unfortunately. Apart from an Anzus rune. I'll take that for the next floor. Thank you. And I mainly actually used this as a little bit of a shortcut to get heading back to the shop easier. But yeah, now we can buy these extra items on sale, get our stats, and still have money left over the next floor, which I'm very happy about. And actually, hold up. Restocks the current shop if used inside. So I can actually use this now. Yes, in order to get more stuff in this shop. Negative two of hearts. What does that do? Deals damage to, uh, to the player equal to half of your health rounded down. For the next 20 seconds, enemies will drop random heart pickups on death. That's not really that value valuable to us. It's a shame there wasn't a Perthra rune rather than an Anzusk. That would have uh, that would have been pretty nice. We did unfortunately spend all of our money, but we managed to gain a very, very good amount of stats out of Keeper's Sack. I think that's really all we can ask for. Nowhere to bomb over there, is there? Oh, that was close. <laughs> yeah, this this wisp circle with the fouchette I, uh, item, if I can actually find that in our uh, thingy here. Uh, held passives, there you go. We get down to our fouchette. Our pl it's, I keep calling it the fouchette, it's called the planchette. All wisps, nightmares, and other ghosts like familiars have double HP and deal double damage. So them having double HP means they should last a significant amount longer. And considering we've got a full suite of eight, that means we've got a pretty significant amount of protection from projectile damage, at least for a little while. The grey ones are definitely weaker because we've had them longer. They should still last us a while and, and do us some good stuff. Pop this. I don't know how this is going to work, but I'm going to try it. Um, That's incorrect. <laughs> it spawned the complete wrong thing there. Mods be modding. Mods do be modding. Right, go back for our item room over here first. Thank you, Greed's Butt, for saving me from that embarrassing hit. One of those crappy runes there. Crappy spirit orbs. Ready again with another spirit orb throw up. Oh, come on now. That was silly. I missed it be specifically because I threw it and killed him by accident. Hey, that's very nice. Damage up is good, but being able to destroy rocks without bombs is, uh, real good. Might be able to get some good stuff out of that. Oh, we got, I forgot we had Sackhead, to be honest. Yeah, we might be able to find secret room with this pretty easily. I'll see. And I think we will do a beast run here. So we are looking for our, for our uh, thingy here. Our fool card. I know that none of these are fool card, by the way. I'm just looking for extra stuff. To be honest, why am I doing this? I I, I no room for black hearts and I've already got dry baby. Uh, what am I going to get? Ghost baby? Who's excited about getting ghost baby? 
That's not a secret room. Kind of looked like it to me. What is going on in here? Ah, I don't know why I'm shooting walls as if that's... I know where secret room is. I have an answer, so I'm stupid. I'm sure many of you are sat there wondering that for your very self. We got a bag tissue. All pickups in the room are destroyed and eight most valuable pickups form into an item. Hmm. We'd need to bring a good amount in here to make that work. I'm going to leave things untouched for now. On the off chance we can make that work, but I don't think we're going to be able to. We'd need a lot of pills or cards, really. Or another way to spawn a lot of consumables. That was silly. Yeah. Haha, your walls can't save you now. Check in here. Birthright. Beautiful, beautiful birthright. I would very much like that. Can I get the money? I only need four cent more. I think it's doable. I've not seen my fool's uh, head yet. Yeah, we're going to have to go back anyways because I, I definitely missed it somewhere. Or art thou? <clears throat> Can't be in large rooms, I know that for a fact. Gotta path the way through this easier. Not in here. Not in here. How'd I miss it? It must be in that room that I haven't visited yet. I have been looking out for it. Yeah, it is. I only need two cent more. Don't be like this game. Don't be like this. Just two pennies for birthright. A good deal. Hmm. Can't really get to that stuff. Ah, I'm not going to be able to get it, am I? Ooh, hello. Wasn't expecting this to be in here. That's a penny. That right there is a penny. How, how am I going to do this? Yes, I did it. Okay, we are now one penny off. Surely, surely I can find a single penny somewhere. Second secret room potentially has, a, has an additional penny for us. I've not been there yet. There could be something in the shop I could destroy, maybe. I'll do second secret room first, because that's probably the most likely. Super secret rooms are replaced with I am error rooms. Interesting. Not an item I've seen before. Dad's a little secret, don't tell. I don't like the idea of the implication of what that means. <laughs> Right, don't, don't be a me- Ah, oh, you br- I said don't. Huh. <sighs> Game's mean. The meanie burbini. Okay, and otherwise, we're gonna have to go. Okay, so we, got, we have so many wisps now. Where do we get the rest of these wisps from? I don't even know. Hmm. I kind of needed those. Hmm. <laughs> A penny! Oh my goodness what I've always wanted. Yeah, I kind of needed the the Polaroid. 
So I guess I'm going to leave those there and just spawn the Polaroid in. Which feels a bit cheaty, but... Yeah, that was that was kind of I didn't expect it to be a, a pair thrower to be honest. Right, anyways, time to buy this beautiful birthright and see what three or two items it'll give us. So it says three, but sometimes I only get two. I got three that time. Flat damage, all the way. Flat damage. It's it didn't actually give us that much, but hey, her flat damage is the best way to go. Right. It is time for us to do a th what we came to do and do a beast run because I just haven't done it in a long time. We're on 45 minutes though. This has been a longer run than normal for a beast run. But as I said, these uh, these Eden Streak runs are typically going to be a lot longer episodes because I'm really trying my very hardest to get a win, uh, which means a lot of min-maxing. Chill out, you. It would be nice if this was a custom floor rather than Gehenna, but... Oh, well. Don't know why I did that. That was actually pointless. I'm just looking for the boss. I'm just looking for the boss, thank you. Destroying all my wisps that I don't know where they came from. My precious, precious unknown wisps. Thank you for that. I don't know if it'll be useful, but thank you. Boss, where art thou? I knew it wouldn't be in this room. Why'd I go in this room? Here's a shop, but unfortunately we are completely out of coin. Say, oh, bollocks. Wait, what? I'm just confused. I thought I went into an error room by accident, but I didn't. What the hell? What was that about? That was very confusing. Does anyone know what that's about? <laughs> hmm. I don't know what I did there. Rusty Spoon. What does that do? 10% chance to fire a Herming Tear that inflicts bleed. Ooh. That's not bad. I like Herming. I like bleed. Okay, we found it. Completely missed with my orb again. I'm really bad at throwing the spirit orbs. I've kind of let go of the spirit orbs recently. Right, anyways, we have started the descent. Good, good, good. I spent it. It's gone. gone. Just get over it. I haven't done this in a very long time. My first beast run in probably about six months. Maybe longer. Probably longer. What spirit of sacrilege again? Slashes through all enemies and beggars in the room, flicks them with bleeding and brimstone's curse. Okay. Okay, okay. Guess I'll save that for now. A soul heart there, we don't need it. We up, up, up and away. Oh, these items are still here. I'm still not going to grab them because technically they're not meant to be there. I don't know what this would do. Okay, it doesn't do anything. I, I had to try it. <laughs> Could have been the end of our streak very quickly there if I went to the void, but I had to try it. Right, fellas. See, now that, that's very useful. 
just the ability to insta-kill one of these big tainted enemies. I like that. And that's valuable. So Destructive, disturbed. disturbed. Like I, do you remember the chills? The chills that you got the first time you did the ascent, like discovering it on your own. Oh man. Like, by the way, if if you want to see pure discovery and joy, go back and watch my original first few episodes of Repentance. I was in awe. Like, I was so giddy and excited. I mean, I still am. This game's still fun, but not like that. I was so giddy and excited for new Isaac. Everything was so fresh. Everything felt so different and new. And I was just, like, in awe at everything. And it really, really comes across in the video pretty heavily. We haven't even been actually hit on our health in so long by an enemy. See, even though I didn't actually get the item there, I literally don't care, because... I was able to not fight that guy, which is a blessing in itself. Slowly but surely losing wisps, but we still have a lot. Remember, bombs pretty much instantly kill these guys. They do not have um, any damage protection against bombs. They just have crazy high boss armor. They actually have pretty low overall health. The range up, nice. Oh, my god, that was a quick one. We on to the basement, boys. I'm saving my uh, active for a really annoying enemy, by the way, if you're wondering why I've still got it. There's a few on this floor that I really don't like, so <laughs> if I come across them, I'll be uh, using it there. Also as well, the Ascent, you can just bomb your way out of rooms, which I find utterly broken. Nah, thanks. I'm okay. Right, last floor. Last floor. Then we gotta fight Dogma, which I haven't fought in a long time, so we'll see how that goes. Oh, hello. Oh, I don't have any money. I was like, oh, I can play this guy. I have no money to play him with. I'm leaving. Oh, hello. I'll take that. I've not found a really bad enemy yet. Most of these guys are getting taken down pretty easily. I haven't come across the hibbity hop guy that I was planning to use it on. D6 there? I think I'd probably rather take that with me. Hey, there you go. We did it, baby. We did it. There you go, take that, why not? Battery charge there. What more might will it give us here? Tears and damage. I think the tears probably won't apply. Oh no, the tears did apply. Amazing. Bit of a waste to take the D6 now, considering we've got two good items there, but... Oh well. Right. Dogma, I have not fought you in some time. I don't know how prepared I am for this. I do have all the bombs to utilize here, though, so I will try to. TV's going down pretty quick. TV's down and dead. Very well timed bomb there. Oh, I forgot about the spinny attack. Although, we have him bleeding right now, which makes the spinny attack actually not too bad for us. Because we are uh, doing a lot of damage to him because of his high movement speed. So, 
In that way, it's not so bad. He does it so much, though. But yeah, he took a lot of damage from that. Can you get back on the screen, my guy? There you go. That dogma was, was nothing. That was way easier than expected. What up, beast? Beast from the east. Don't really remember how to fight you, but I'll pick it up. It's all muscle memory now. bombs on you. You lost both of our holy mantles, how dare you? Damn, mistimed that completely. There you go, I got it. Gimme. Managed to get a spirit stone in the middle of all of that somehow. Cool. Got him. What a fella. Oh, that was stupid. I didn't realize I had to throw that. I thought it would just happen. Ha ha ha! I second phased you. You didn't expect that, did you? That's more bombs for you, Mr. Explosives. I know you like explosives. I'll throw some bombs at you. There you go, he's dead. The sprite work on this this, this boss still is amazing, by the way. Right, I think I can, um... I can... Spirit Orb these scythes. Yes, I can. Oh, wait, it turned it into a sack. Which gave me a three of spades. Okay, that didn't really work out. That was, yeah, that was all sorts of nonsense there, unfortunately. Sackhead be damned. Oh, god damn, they did not move the way I was expecting them to. Hello, big guy. Gotcha. Right, beast time. Get all my fellas lined up on top of him. Do some contact damage for a little bit. Sadly, not much. The music gets badass now. And the hold right simulator begins. This is the only reason I don't like this fight. It's such an awesome fight, but this this last phase is so meh. Like, like it's it's really cool the first few times, but after you've beaten like Dead God, it's just like ugh. it could have been so much better. <laughs> it just doesn't feel Isaac like at all. It just feels like Flappy Bird. Ah, oh, bollocks. I'm curious, can I do this? Oh no, I, I was I was thinking maybe the spirit orb can capture the stalagmites, but sadly not. What are you doing now, big boy? Right. 
Mr. Boss Man, where art thou? I'm waiting. Yeah. Ow! That caught me off guard. I'll be honest. Kinda wish I'd have saved my bombs for this phase now. I forget how long this takes. Like, even with my 14 damage or whatever it is, this is taking forever. We've looped back around to phase one, this barely ever happens. I've got some crazy boss armor going on right now. Hey, we're finally in the last phase. You can see my shattered glass still there, look. <laughs> From my orb. Poor beastie. Try your best beast, but... Could not be done. My god, this run ended up being an hour as well. We dragged this one out, I guess. Beast runs can be long. I always thought beast runs were a lot shorter, but... I guess we just take, took our precious time. This is what these episodes are all about, though, I guess. There you go. We pretty much got it done now, though. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. It was a lot of fun. An interesting build with the Spirit Orb stuff going on. And yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.